The Apella Greek, Apeia was the popular deliberative assembly in the ancient Greek city-state of Sparta, corresponding to the ecclesia in most other Greek states. Every Spartan male full citizen who had completed his thirtieth year was entitled to attend the meetings, which, according to Lycurgus' ordinance, must be held at the time of each full moon within the boundaries of Sparta. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word is derived from the Doric word apella, apeia which originally meant wall, enclosure of stones, and later assembly of people within the limits of the square. It is derived from the ancient Greek word peia, peia stone, which appears in some toponyms in Greece like pella peia and polini. The explanation is given by Hesychius, apelli, apelli sakoi, folds, ecclesiae, ecclesiae popular assemblies. The festival Apelli was surely dedicated to the god Apollo Doric form, Apeion and it was spread by the Dorians in central Greece, as it is proved by the use of the month Apellios Structure The meetings had in all probability taken place originally in the Agora, but were later transferred to the neighbouring building known as the Skias. According to Plutarch, a great retro was given by Pythia to Lycurgus. The old aristocratic council, was substituted by the Jerusia 30 elders including the two kings. The meetings of the «Apella» should take place from time to time, and the citizens should have the power to debate and take the decisions. This right of the citizens was very soon limited. The kings Theopompus and Polydorus, probably during the 7th century BC, added to the «retra» that the kings and the elders Jerusia could set aside any «crooked» decision of the people, the presiding officers were at first the kings, but in historical times the afores, and the voting was conducted by assessing the loudness of shouting in the crowd, if the president was doubtful as to the majority of voices, a division was taken and the votes were counted. Vote by shouting could be seen as the first type of range voting. The appella simply accepted or rejected the proposal submitted to it. In later times, too, the actual debate was almost, if not wholly, confined to the kings, elders, afores and perhaps the other magistrates. The appella voted on peace and war, treaties and foreign policy in general, it decided which of the kings should conduct a campaign and settled questions of disputed succession to the throne, it elected elders, afores and other magistrates, emancipated helots and perhaps voted on legal proposals, there is a single reference to a "...small assembly." He micra columen ecclesia at Sparta, but nothing is known as to its nature or competence. The term appella does not occur in extant Spartan inscriptions, though two decrees of Jithium belonging to the Roman period refer to the Megali appellae. The appella was responsible for electing men to the Jerusia for life. Candidates were selected from the aristocrats and presented before the appella. The candidate who received the loudest applause became a member of the Jerusia. The appella also elected the five afores annually. A force presided over meetings of the Jerusia and the Apella. They could not run for re-election. The Jerusia presented motions before the Apella. The Apella then voted on the motions. However, unlike the Ecclesia in Athens, the Apella did not debate, it merely approved or disapproved of measures. Moreover, the Jerusia always had the power to veto the decision of the Apella. See also Apelli Great Retra Apelia Topic Notes Topic References As listed in Todd 1911 G Gilbert Constitutional Antiquities of Sparta and Athens Trans 1895 pp 49 ff Studien zur Altspartanischen Geschichte, Göttingen, 1872, pp. 131 ff. G. F. Schoman, Antiquities of Greece, The State, Eng. Trans, 1880, pp. 234 ff. De Ecclesis Leistimaniorum, Griefswald, 1836, Opus, Academ. I. pp. 87 ff. C. O. Muller, History and Antiquities of the Doric Race Eng. Trans, 2nd ed., 1839, Book E. Ch. 5, Sections 8–10 
Georg Busel, Die griechischen Staats und Rechtsaltertümer, 1887 in Ewan Müller's Handbuch der klassischen Altertumschessenschaft, IV. 1, Section 90 Griechische Geschichte 2nd ed., I. p. 552 ff. 